Hola, 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 guys. It's me, and I'm coming to you with my first box of the year from Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Yay! So, alrighty. We're gonna see how this box goes. Gonna check out the products and put them on. Got a nice little cute palette that I'm liking and I'd like to dip into it today. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the family and just stay a while. Um, alrighty, so I'm just gonna quickly show you the products that I received and then I'm just gonna go get into it and just try on the stuff that I am able to try on camera. So, first of all, I got the bag here which is a marble type print bag it is silver gray and white um and you know it's actually cute <laughs> like did i just say that um i usually cannot stand the ipsy bags like i just hate them i always felt that they were horrendous quality just so cheap um no effort put into it and i pretty much just always always toss them um but maybe i might just use this for something this actually is a nice looking bag nice little zipper um pink interior um it's actually pretty cute so i think i might i might just for the change be able to do something with that little bag all right um so the card that i got is called well they put clean slate of course with the new year that has bestowed upon us um so i'm just going to show you uh the products that i got first of all i got the juice beauty stem cellular anti-wrinkle booster serum um this has a value of 80 dollars um so this is a nice little um serum um, which I like serums and I think they're very necessary in your skincare regimen um, this is an all-natural formula perfect slip needed for a makeup primer um, use morning and night to hydrate protect and ease fine lines so I'm going to I guess use that um, the next product that I got was another skincare item this is from Knorr's skin meditation gel cream so this is with a price value of $36 um, and this is blah 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 can make your skin this will you know the fluctuating hormones especially around your period can make your skin super sensitive blah 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 so it's a soothing gel cream um, loaded with peppermint oil and hyaluronic acid to give you dewy skin at every stage of your monthly cycle <laughs> Okay, well, considering that I am kind of going through that right now, sorry if it's TMI, but yeah. <laughs> so, um, I guess I'll give it a whirl as well. Um, I actually got a milk mask, or two actually. It's, it's a set of six. Um, so these are some brightening combos of Naya, what? Niacinamide and ginseng. Yay for me. Um, taking skin. I really got it. Okay, you will not hear from my phone anymore. <laughs> okay, so anyway, these are masks. <laughs> um, and the value is $14.98 for a set of six. So that is interesting as well. Um, I got a liner, liquid liner, which I don't think I'm going to like, but let's just see what happens. I haven't opened it, so you know. Um, Sugar Cosmetics Wingman Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is in 01 I'll Be Black. The retail value on this is $11.99, so let's see what happens. I'm usually not a lover of them. I haven't opened them yet. We'll see what happens. Um, and yeah, so I also was, um, if you were able to, pick your own palette for this box. I was able to pick what I wanted. Um, so I got the Huda Beauty Obsessions Palette in Amethyst. Uh, retail value on this is $27. Here are the colors right here. And I think that they're very cute. These are colors that, believe it or not, I love but just don't wear. <laughs> so I figured let's change that and let's play around with that. I also got some add-ons um, and I also got these illuminating blushes. Um, these are from Ciate London and these are the illuminating blush, Glow 2 illuminating blush. Um, I got them in three colors um, and I will probably use one today. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and try on, first of all, let's put some moisture on my face. So here's how the packaging looks, which actually looks pretty cool and sleek. Um, and we're going to, okay, it actually, mmm, it actually doesn't smell bad. That's shocking to me. Um, let's see what happened. There was a product that I had used from them. It smells so bad, I really don't remember what it is. 
um but yeah i don't ever buy it again <laughs> but this product actually smells pretty nice and it feels nice and cool oh yeah this is nice so this is the sem cellular anti-wrinkle booster serum so i just put a little bit in there and i'm just pressing it gently in my face i promise you i am gently doing it it's just that my skin is so sensitive that even gentle for my skin is you know you're hurting me <laughs> so Okay, so now that we have let that sink into my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Kenora Skin Meditation Gel Cream. So here's how it looks, and we're just going to see how long it takes. Oh, it doesn't take too long to. All right, so this is pretty much a clear gel. It smells pepperminty, which is nice. I don't mind that. Oh, it feels so nice. This feels like a really nice serum. Even though this is a gel moisturizer, obviously, but oh, it smells really nice. If you like peppermint or you like, you know, those kind of minty scents, you're really going to enjoy this. It doesn't stay on for long, though. Like, I, I already feel like it's the smell has already begun to disappear. But it's alright upon the initial um, application. It definitely smells really nice. Okay, so we're just going to let that sink in a little bit. Oh, this is really nice. I'm interested in trying on those masks, but I'll have to do that another day. Oh, alrighty. So, turn on my little makeup mirror. Alright, let that sink in, and then I'm just going to throw on a little bit of foundation. Okay, so today, because only because I haven't used it in like forever, um, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D True Portrait um, foundation which by the way I don't know if you guys heard um, she has sold her shares of Kat Von D Beauty um, to Kendor is it how you spell that? Kendor? <laughs> anyway you know what I mean um, she sold her shares Kendo there you go sorry <laughs> she sold her shares to Kendo uh, which were the ones that were um, pretty much have been with her for like the 11 years that um, she's been doing makeup. Um, she wanted to um, concentrate on her music. She has an upcoming album that's coming out. Um, she also has a vegan shoe line. Um, and she had said in her statement, you know, that it was just a lot for her to handle. Um, so, you know, after much thinking about it, um, she decided to. Um, sell her brand so the brand is now going to be known as KVD vegan beauty so it will no longer be Kat Von D beauty um, but KVD vegan beauty um, I don't know how you guys feel about that um, I mean I'm sure she's kind of sad about it um, it was something that she worked on for so long I know that there was a lot of controversy with her in the first place um, because of the whole issue um, you know with the vaccines and all that stuff um, again I you know don't say anything about it I never said anything about it again because I was strictly um, just reviewing the products um, and I still kept doing them after you know all that hit the fan so to say you know um, unfortunately I have a feeling that her or rather that brand might pick up again in sales because I know that there's a lot of people, um, including a couple people that I know personally, um, that had stopped um, buying her products because, you know, of the whole stance with the vaccine and all that stuff. Uh, you know, personal preference for everyone. Um, and I'm not really going to go deep into it here again because this is a beauty channel. I'm not starting to, I'm not trying to stir anything. Everyone has um, their own opinions. Um, so, but yeah, I uh, just thought that you wanted to know that <laughs> so yeah so I'm just using the foundation for today um, I'm not typically crazy about the foundation um, because it just um, it was I don't know it was just didn't stay long on my face at all I actually did a review on it um, but it just totally totally did not work on my face at all so I was so sad about that um, but I use it once in a while um, and I figured, eh, you know, whatever, you know, I'll use it today. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go into my brows and I want to try this out. I just got this yesterday. Um, this is the Tarte Big Ego um, Frameworker Brow Pomade and I got this in the color towel. 
So here's how it looks right here, the packaging. Um, and I really wanted to see how it works, um, if I would like it or whatever. I mean, I've always used Anastasia brow pomade, like religiously, and I used to use the Kat Von D, but I don't know what happened if they changed the formula or something, but the color um, did not look the same anymore, so I had to stop using it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna see how this one looks. And let's see how that goes. Ooh. Well, of course, when it's new, you know it's going to be like super gliding. Alrighty, so I like it. I like the pomade. It's actually pretty good. I was a little worried about the color um, because sometimes talc, you know, they'll make it a little too light or a little too golden. Um, and then, you know, it, it just doesn't go. So, yay. Okay, so <laughs> for foundation, I'm just going to put on um, some of the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer. Um, so yeah, pretty happy about that one. All right, so I'm just gonna go into this, put some powder on my face, um, and then I'm going to tap into um, that palette. And you know, it's so funny, and I was not um, planning it. Um, I'm wearing a purple top, so, <laughs> but I totally was not planning that. All right, so I'm gonna hurry up and just do a little bit of blending my concealer and get started on okay so I'm gonna go into the, the little palette now um so the first color my eyeballs are looking at is going to be this color right over here so we're gonna go dip into that one brush I'm using which is clean <laughs> hallelujah is the m441 brush from Morphe um, and that looks like a good amount of color Ooh. all right so this is definitely a nice pigmented color and we're just going to start here in the crease very lightly. Okay, so I'm going to go now into this darker color over here, which is a little darker purple. Um, the first color was more of like a hot pink, um, so now this one is like a darker purple. I'm just gonna go into that a little bit. The colors are very pigmented and dark. So if you do get a palette like this or if you want to get this palette, um, just you know, little by little in the color, you don't want to put too much. It's always better to start with a little bit of color and then building it up, then putting a whole bunch of eyeshadow and then not being able to fix it. Okay, so now I'm going to dip into this darker one here, um, and this is a super, it's like a brownish burgundy almost, very dark, but it comes out very nice and dark purpley here in the corner. And we're just going to apply that. Alright, um, alrighty, so there are three sparkly colors and I think I'm gonna go maybe with this light one um, it's looking pretty cool they have this darker purple one which actually is not as dark as I thought it would be and then this one up here which is the darker of the three but I'm not too crazy about it so I think I might go with this one and let's see how that looks Ooh. oh nice that is pretty very nice oh yeah so these sh these you know shadows here you can definitely put it with a brush but you're going to get of course the most optimum result um, using your finger so that is really nice wow. okay so that's done um, and you know what I really like about them is that they are so like nice and buttery um, they don't feel like you know um, you know, like gritty. Um, they feel really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this powder and go into. Oh yeah, the liner. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so not looking forward to, to uh, trying out that liner, y'all. Like at all. <laughs> so we're gonna go. I'm gonna give it a try anyway and see how it goes. But yeah, definitely not not looking forward to it because I have a feeling that the tip is gonna be a thick eyeliner tip. Um, 
which I hate dealing with. All right, so let me go ahead and open the packaging. And this is from Sugar. Um, like I said, let's see <laughs> how it looks. And I'm probably going to hate it. All right. Ready? Ta -da! Here it is right here. You know, it's not as thick as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Let me retract my comment. Um, it's still not as thin as I would like, um, but it's not as thick as other ones I've seen. So, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and, and do my little line here. Uh -huh. That's one. Hmm. I noticed that it's kind of, if you can see that, that is like the lightest line ever. It looks like it's going to give me problems because of the heavy shadow. So let's see what happens. Okay, can I just show you so that you don't think I'm full of crap? Like I'm literally, look. first of all, look how sloppy and gross that line is. Okay, look, nothing. Like nothing comes out, okay? But if I put it here, there's color but when I go on here nothing it's like barely <sighs> listen <laughs> you look you know I'm showing it right on here um, it's not working so I'm not gonna put that I am NOT gonna bother um, we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna take off or try to take off that line the other line, like, it's barely there. You don't even see it. Ugh, that is just so ridiculous. I can't even take it off. Whatever. We're just going to keep going. That is kind of annoying. That's annoying. So now you know the eyeliner is a flop. Do not like the eyeliner. If it cannot go over eyeshadow, then what's the point, really? I mean, it came out cleanly on here, but once I'm trying to draw it on, it's not coming out at all. So not happy about that not happy at all all right so i'm gonna go into my three blushes that i got which were my add-ons um let me see i'm going to try on i tried on the peach one this is the peachy one um this one is called date night so i'm just going to show you the colors very very pretty i am very satisfied um, with these blushes even though I haven't tried on all three I've only tried on one which was um, date night the one that I just um, finished showing you um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other ones and I'm confident that the other two are pretty this one is matchmaker Ooh. so here's matchmaker love it and then the third one where's the third one? Oh, the third one this one let's see I'm gonna just open this one up as well and this one is the color Pinch Me. <laughs> oh, and this one is just so pretty. Nice little pinky tone. I'm really, really liking that. I think I'm going to try and put on the pinky today. So let me find a brush. All right, so I got my brush and I'm going to go into pinky or pinch me actually. <laughs> and I'm just going to go and put that on my cheeks. And it's so pretty and I really like these um, not only because they're illuminating brushes blushes um, but the color is just so nice like it's a flush um, and it's not like hard to control if if that makes any sense it's just like a beautiful wash it blends so well um, it just melts in your skin um, it just is so pretty and it just provides just a beautiful um, wash of color. So this is the one. This one is Pinch Me, which is kind of like a, it's like a pinky, like a pinky peach type of thing. So I'm really, really enjoying that one. Ah, should I stick on some mascara? I am like so annoyed with that stupid line. <laughs> okay, okay, this is it. <laughs> so this is what I finished guys I am leaving my look like this now I lined my eyes for the sake of you know they had to be lined <laughs> that liner was just retarded um, and even with that like I lined with the Kevin D tattoo liner which also lately I have not been liking I don't know if they changed the brush tip um, but the line is like 
nowhere as thin as I like it um, but it was in my drawer I pulled it out I used it for the sake of the video um, but that's about it so this is the final look um, I'm saying the best out of everything of course is gonna be the eyeshadow palette um, I really did like all of the colors um, the skincare products actually felt nice on my skin um, I am looking forward to how they perform long term um, the add-ons which are the blushes I highly recommend that you get these blushes um, I don't think that they're around anymore for add-ons or if you can purchase them on Ipsy. I'm not sure you might want to try first, but if not, you can probably purchase it on their website or on Sephora. I recommend that you get these blushes because they're really, really pretty. Even on a regular day if you don't want to go heavy on makeup, but you want a nice wash of illuminating color on your on your cheeks. Um, this will definitely um, liven up your skin when you don't have a lot of makeup on. So I really highly get um recommend you in getting at least one of them so um that's about it so thank you for watching this video um i wish that i could have i don't know it would have been nice had i gotten like a lip color um the lip color that i have on right now is from um wet and wild this is the wet and wild liquid cat suit high shine lipstick and this is in the color petal poison this should be on the website um, I'm pretty confident that is it is on the website and I'll just put the link below in case you are interested um, this is a very nice mauve color um, and I think that it goes well with the eyeshadow I really like the eyeshadow I just love um, the glittery colors it definitely popped the eyeshadow that um, I had on right now um, so yeah overall everything is fine and I'm definitely looking forward to using the mask that's the only thing that I really didn't get to use in my box um, so yeah, I will definitely looking, be looking forward to using those in my alone time, <laughs> in my Joe time. So thank you guys for watching um, me, you know, do the best as I can through this eyeliner mess. Um, this eyeliner is going in the garbage. I think that it's just ridiculous that I cannot get a line because I have eyeshadow on. I don't know. I think that's ridiculous. And I showed you guys it was, it was gliding easily on my hand. But on my eye, it was like, I don't know what was going on there. So, whatever. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Adios!